And this ultimately means that the state will have more control inside the city, both with the expansion of the jurisdiction of Capitol Police, but also creating a temporary court within the city. Now signed into law by Governor Reeves, Capitol Police will have jurisdiction across the entire city. Capitol Police is currently under the State Department of Public Safety. Along with the expanded jurisdiction, the law creates a temporary court within the Capitol Complex Improvement District. This court has the same power as municipal courts when handling misdemeanor cases, traffic violations, and initial court appearance, appearances for some criminal charges. The judge of the court will also be appointed by the Mississippi Supreme Court Chief Justice. Governor Reeves says this bill is necessary for maintaining public safety at a Wednesday press conference. We've got to make sure that we have law and order. And I don't think there's any doubt that if you talk to businesses, if you talk to the residents of Jackson, um, Capitol Police shows up when there's a crime being committed and they're called. NAACP National President Derek Johnson, who lives in Jackson, says the organization plans to sue the state, claiming this law treats black people as second-class citizens. The American Civil Liberties Union of Mississippi stands with them, speaking out against the bill as well. A statement from their office says they expected Governor Reeves to sign this into law, but are still disappointed in this decision. And we did speak with the ACLU and the senior staff attorney, Claudio williams Hymans said this. We stand with the city of Jackson. We stand with the citizens who have already placed their votes. We just want people to know that we're absolutely going to act on their behalf and do everything we can to protect the rights of Jackson citizens now and moving forward. And we will have more from the ACLU tonight when we return back on the air at 10. Reporting live here in Jackson, Grayson Gordon, 16 WAPT News.